So be all. I'm back with another video. This is the how to make uh, shoddy red type beats for Waka Flocka Flame and Chief Keef. So let me just play it and then I'll break it down. Started with this piano sound. Very simple, it's just a minor triad chord, and then I put the root note up an octave out of this top line. But yeah, after that, I I believe is the brass. Yeah, it's just one note. It's like a deep brass. To that, I added a spooky lead. but it's called Spooky Lead in the Juno. It's also in Xenology if you don't have a Juno. Yeah, um, after that I did a high brass. Brass is really good in these beats. It's used a lot. Just put down a triad chord, or no, a fifth chord, I guess. The one, the five, and then the one again. It was just the one, the six, and the one. I just changed it a half step. And after that, I added um, another brass top line. Very simple, it's just a repeating pattern. I didn't even know I had this many brass in my own, but um, for that, I added a pizzicato string just doing a repeating thing. Like I said, half steps are really good, so I just use them a lot. To that, I think I did just the same pattern but with a um, staccato string. So yeah, you want to use a lot of like orchestral sounds in these beats. Really need to play that, y'all already know how it sounds. After that, I added the reverse sweet pad and just played the D sharp minor triad over and over again. It's like an extra weird sound. Did that tubular bell, I think. I know, I added the Saturn Holiday. It's just like a sweep synth from the Juno Phantom. Yeah, um. 
think this should be a tubular bell. Yeah. Let's use the half steps again right now. Simple. But yeah, that's it for the melody. Oh wait, now this is a couple more sounds actually. I use the sound for my kit. That's just like an orchestra hit. I just played a pattern with it. And it's basically just like a 16th note pattern, but I played with the velocity a lot, so it gave it like a bounce. Like in my opinion, that's probably the most important part of the beat. Uh, most important sound that sound I just played, but after that, it's from my kit, by the way. And after that, I just added another sound. That's from Xenology, but I just put it as a one shot in my kit. It's like a weird sound. It sounds cool. That's pretty in the background, though. So I added an Electrostar to my kit. Record in from the Juna. I think that I made like the rest of this with this piano, right? Yeah, it's kind of just like another extra sound. It was used a lot in those beats, but yeah, I'm gonna play the whole melody for you on that. Let me see. some hard shit basically do that I started with the drums uh, added the snare from my kit it's like a layered like clap snare type thing and after that I added a hat from my kit it's like a 16th note pattern with a couple rolls. And when I do my rolls, I like having them lead up to the snare, so that's what I did here. So I can hear it sounds good to me at least. It just adds a little bit of bounce, I guess. To that I added this crash that I use a lot to my kit. It's like a delayed glow type crash trap. I added the snare from my kit, just to like snare all at the end. If you've ever wondered how they do these snares, it's just like you just have to put it in one third step right here and then add the snares to one third step rolls. After that I added an 808 from my kit. It's like the most basic trap ado or trap kick. I mean, it goes really well with a lot of stuff, a lot of different adoids. Yeah, I just have both of them at max velocity because I'm trying to beat it hard. And after that, I added one more snare. Right now, there's a chant actually. And this is just a good place to put your chance to give it like a little more bounce, I guess. So. It's used a lot in like Zaytoven trap. Shit. So yeah, it's like for the drums. It's just like some basic hard hitting drums. I didn't really do anything really. Um, I added a couple low cut filters, but that's about it. Uh, drums and mix. And for the master, I just put a soft clip here. The Vox and go recorder is just like so y'all can hear it. But yeah, um, the arrangement is very simple. 
as y'all can see, I just have intro, drums all the way through and outro. Yeah, that's about it for the tutorial. If y'all learned something, um, like, I guess, if y'all liked it, like, if you really liked it, subscribe, because I do have more tutorials like this. Um, yeah, if you didn't like it, comment, let me know why. I'll try to fix it. Yeah, I'll see y'all later.